Let me get that off of there for us. Basically, we just showed up to Proline Racing, pulled the car off and thrashed, left some skid marks and stoked these guys out on a new body we're about to do with these guys. Uh, gave a couple employees some rides in Megalodon and uh, what'd you think of the car? Dude, so stoked, so fun. You think it's kind of similar to an RC car? Yeah, it's about as similar as a full size can get. Still right. a little shaky. Giant Still a little shaky. Yeah, those wheelies, the jumps, is all pretty gnar. So he got the good banger shots. I kind of left the GoPro at bay, but there's a little wall over there and some wheelies areas and some donuts. I'm sure we'll see on their uh, IG soon, but we're going to go do a little quick walkthrough on this and uh, check out what uh, what kind of goes down here at Proline. Um, if you've ever had an RC car, you guys have heard of these guys. I know I've had several and bought several different things. They just did a collab with uh, Chris Eisenhower, right? right? Right. How'd that turn out? Well, it's awesome. We're digging it. The car looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is our entry here. This is the entry. Manufacturing in the back. Manufacturing? That's top secret stuff, though, right? That's right. Top all right. Secret. We'll just give you guys a quick peek. That's all you get. Yeah. That's all you get. Otherwise, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Sir. Conference area where we have our meetings, got some product display there. Nice, different colors. Yeah, our paint line. How many different bodies do you guys currently have on the market? That's a few hundred, I think. Yeah, they're constantly That's... rotating in and out, but it's probably over a hundred. That's awesome. At any given time. Yep. Like, yeah. Yeah. What else we got? How many? You guys have your own track in the back, I saw. We didn't want to tear that up too bad, no, but. That would have been good. So this is where it all happens right here. This is uh, engineering, nice. product development. I see some pictures of the car on the computer over yeah, there. That's no, what's okay. up. <laughs> Do you have your uh, your um, the image that you developed? Yeah. Oh, oh, right. I think that's not pulled up. Yeah. yeah. So while he's pulling that up, check so out Eisenhower's truck. Right yeah, that's the 10 scale. It's 10 scale, yeah. Yep. Track Beautiful. Slash. Shout out to the boys, Chris and Nick, and Heatwave. Those guys killed it on their new build. Have you seen the F1 or the new F150? Right. Yeah. Thinking about doing a body of that too. Series, right. Maybe. That'd be sick. That'd be tight. Whole bunch of toys up in here. I don't know how you guys get enough work done with all these things back here. This new release here is going 70s. Little rock band for the rock colors. That's tight. It's got your little bubble window. I love it. Super groovy. And the shag carpet kit from the inside. Ooh. Yeah, so here, so, here we go. What was that? Boom! A little mock up. Let me get closer to that. Yeah. It's kind of funny <laughs> from that side with the, the angle and the GoPro lens. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh. Let's zoom in a little bit. That's tight. So, you guys are doing something different with this with the black body to where you don't have to. It's actually black Lexan. Okay. So it's like like right black all, all the way through. So black you all the way through. It, slide down the street. It's not going to slow out no, white. It's not painted. And That's painted beautiful. So when when did you guys develop this product? Just the last. Uh, we just released just our first batch in the last two months. Yeah. Right before nice. COVID vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting the latest and greatest. That's what's up. I like it. This is cool. This is pretty awesome. What else you guys got more for us? We got some, we got a line of them, our, our, all our new releases are all along here, you can sell those already. There's the van, the clear one, you can paint it up like your yes. retro, retro 80s rock van. That's cool. Nova, power wagon. So this is the black body? Yeah. Okay. Those are the black bodies that you guys were talking about. Yeah. Screw it. Nice. Are, do you feel like a lot of them are going to start going towards the black bodies? A lot of production? Yeah, definitely for the entry level. It's yeah. It's a lot easier, you don't have to paint it, don't have to worry about chipping, don't have to worry yeah. about doing it right. You just buy yeah. it straight out of the bag and you're good to go. That's beautiful. Yeah, ease of ease of access. Nice. These little things rip. What's uh how many RC cars you guys got? Too many. <laughs> I quit counting. I think I have three. Yeah. It's because I gave like a box of fifty away. <laughs> so you got race cars there, you got shock displays, you make shock components. Oh yeah, that thing's right. nice reservoir kit. Dude, door door rate. You could feel when it does come into that secondary spring, that progression, that's, that's rad. I'm gonna have to print some small King stickers for mine. <laughs> that's right. There you go. <laughs> then over here we're developing new rock crawler wheels. Oh, are those like a beadlock style or? Yep. Yep. 
the, it has two a piece back half the clamps. Three, three piece. Three piece. Yeah. So these are going to be machined aluminum. Machined yeah. aluminum. Yeah, so that's um, 3D printed. So this is 3D wow. printed at this time. That's cool. And we got a new the, shock to work on. It's this is the new shock absorbers for uh, Arma vehicles. Okay. So again, dual rate shock protector. Old yeah. Construction. Yep. I mean, dude, that's awesome. Those are all made here in house. Yep. And banning. Well, all the wheels, <laughs> tires, and bodies, some of the shock components you have to have done out of house because of the, you know, the screw machines and stuff like that. Yeah. Some of that shock components will come from Taiwan um, just because, you know, you got mountain bike products and stuff. What year were you guys established? 82. 82. 82. Been around the block. Yeah. I mean, if they've been around since 82 with RC car stuff, then they obviously know what the heck they're doing. That's cool. Can I keep this? Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. I'm going to put this on my toolbox. I like it. So we even jumped in here during the pandemic and we came out with ProLine face shields. We've been supplying these to hospitals and dentists. That's and cool, giving back. I like yeah. it. What else you guys got over here? You guys got a whole bunch of facility, trucks, dude. Crazy monster truck. Gerardo here is a monster truck fan. These rear diffs are gnarly. Yeah. So <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Carbon fiber frame rails. What's something like this retail for? Uh, it's, all it's all custom made, so uh, once you add it up, you're looking at fifteen to sixteen hundred bucks. Um, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it's it's expensive, but compared to like the big car parts, yeah. cheap. The driver cheap. you competed in the RC Monster awesome. World Jam Finals. Yeah. Was so that last you year got the World Jam Finals for the full size cars, and then you got them for the RC cars. That's what's up. Yep. So Props. Took the, the uh, freestyle trophy. Freestyle trophy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you, that means you went hard, dude. That was good. Hard, yeah. 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 And that means whatever you're building that's full custom is working and taking the abuse. Yep. Exactly. Hands down. Yep, it works. Hands down. So, yeah. A whole um, bunch of prototype tire, stuff. Prototype tires. These are belted tires for high speed, so you can drive your RC car 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour. And the tire won't stretch and snap. Don't let that hit you in the ankle. Yeah. <laughs> then on RC cars, instead of air, you use foam inserts to create the tire pressure. Different densities? Yep. That's cool. It's a science, man. You guys definitely have it figured out. That's for sure. And then we got our media room here. So okay. For uh, new releases. Okay. It's our photo studio. And all nice. What's up, man? How's it going, Blake? What's up, dude? Video department. Already dumping footage? Yeah. Uh, what's up, dude? Blake. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Pleasure, dude. Nice work out there. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we almost got in a little bit of trouble. But actually, we did. We got shut down, but that's typical. I'd do that, I'd do that all day. I haven't got to drive the car in a while with all this stuff. So, um, yeah, my neighbors don't like us too much. Yeah. <laughs> What's right, out here? We're gonna take you out in production, but you gotta turn my camera off. Oh, uh, that's where the end of the road is for you guys <laughs> here at ProLine. I'm gonna get to see some of the behind the scenes stuff on how they make, or they're gonna bring this Megalodon body to life. Shout out to my boy Thunder for hitting me up via email. Yeah. These guys are just excited. <laughs> cool. I'm pumped. Later, dudes. Right. Have a good day. I'm not gonna lie, I never thought. I would have a car that we're gonna build an RC car off of. I'm so pumped. These guys are rad. Their facility is epic. They do a lot in house, a lot more than what I think people are aware of. Their machine shop, their molds, their everything else internally is uh, pretty rad. I wish I could have shared that with you guys, but you know, we gotta make sure we don't step on any toes and uh, make it happen. So, it's a little look behind ProLine, and this Megalodon 10th scale body is coming to life soon. Yeah.